guys, it's your intoxicated bartender, and I am coming to you today with another vodka, weekly vodka made by Buffalo Trace, which is mostly predominantly known for their bourbon, but they make a vodka. So I went into Benny's, you already know, my favorite store, and the beautiful thing about Benny's is they have rows and rows and rows of selections. And in the back, they had this little section for these small batch specialty vodkas. And that's where I found this. Now, you're going to say, well, it's got to cost a bunch of money. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on my drink and I'm on a budget. Listen here. Me too, okay? This was for regular price, $18.99. $18.99 for a 41%, which means 82 proof small batch vodka. I went for it. Did you catch that? It's worth it, okay? I bought this because I'm like, oh, this is interesting. You know, I happen to like vodka's made with wheat because it tends to give it a little bit of a different taste. It seems to be a little more smooth. Um, and then the fact that it's made in small batches, you know, that's always your intoxicating bartender's favorite thing. Um, they even give you what steel it was made off of and what room the bottle was bottled like small enough for you and um also 82 proof i rarely see any vodkas over 80 proof so i was really excited about that and then when i saw buffalo trace on the back when i started reading look i like their bourbons they make this phenomenal bourbon called blanton's we'll have to do a review on that a different time and so i was so that was it by doing research i found out they even make a clear whiskey gotta find that too don't worry, review coming to you, all right? Um, can't promise that's going to be budget-friendly. But today, we working with the budget-friendly. This is Wheatley Vodka, made by master distiller Harlan Wheatley. And can you guess what it's made of? That's right, wheat. Did you guess that? What a coincidence, right, that this man's name is Harlan Wheatley, and he's making wheat vodkas. So you can make choose to make vodkas out of a lot of different... Um, grains but they chose wheat they distill it seven times with wheat and then about after that they add in a corn and grain mixture they marry it in and they distill it three more times after that it is triple filtered which means that they are trying to get it smooth as they can and um that's really good because with vodka you want it to be a blank slate because you could do so much with it you see all my beautiful things here in order to find out what we what we make with this vodka, you will have to subscribe to either our YouTube channel, Intoxicated Tastings, our Facebook page, Intoxicated Tastings, or go at, on our website, www.intoxicatingtastings.net, and sign up for our email link so that it comes directly to you, because we are going to be making a beautiful blueberry sparkler and a berry madness punch all right um and you don't want to miss them they were both great i had a great saturday night with these um so yes vodka you can do anything with it you so you want it to be clean you want it to be uh just smooth you don't want it to have this nasty burn at the end okay so we're gonna smell and they want it to smell pure and crisp, and it absolutely does. It almost smells like water. Um, and believe you me, it's 82 proof. You will feel this once you make these drinks and you start drinking it. So don't get fooled by the smell. The taste, they say, it should be fresh and clean with a hint of soft vanilla at the end. So I'm going to try. Wow. Wow. Smooth. Definitely gives you in your mouth this clean, refreshing taste. Um, just tastes like fresh. Um, lots of acidity. And my, like my mouth is watering. It's not like I have to grab my chest because it's burning. Not at all. You get this sweet uh, aftertone at the end on the finish. Um, I wouldn't say that it's particularly vanilla. Let me try again and make sure. Hmm. I actually think it's a little more floral, but hey, close enough. You get this sweet aftertone finish and it's smooth and I can just sip it just like that um, and it'll be great to go and drink. So you get a little bit of this minerality in it and that's probably from the wheat, you know, that extra flavor that I was telling you about. 
but it's a really good vodka for $18.99. I definitely recommend it. I'd take it to a party. I'd buy it again. Um, it is in my top, I'd say, 10 of vodkas. Uh, I'd say my top five, actually. I, I put that in my top five of vodkas that I've tasted so far. Um, and especially for the price. Great quality for the budget price, okay? So don't walk past those little sections in the back. You can do it. There's stuff back there that's affordable. Wheatly Vodka is one of them, and it's absolutely worth it. So tell your friends, take it to a party. You can even do shots with this. You don't even have to chill it. You don't even have to chill it, but you could, but you don't have to. It's already smooth. So enjoy Wheatly Vodka, and don't forget to sign up um, to make sure you catch our drinks that we make with it. Coming real soon. That's it. See you guys. Have a great week.